This example asks us to solve log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of x minus 8 equals 2. And it already tells us it has an extraneous solution. So we can be expecting to see that. So before we start solving this, let's talk a little bit about why some of these logarithmic equations can have extraneous solutions. The quickest way to conceptualize this is to go back to the graph of log base 3 of x. And if you remember what that graph looks like, and this is another reason why it's really good to remember what these log graphs look like, it comes up like this, right? It asymptotically approaches the y-axis, and then all these log graphs look the same, right? They go through um, this point here, 1, 0, and then it kind of bends over like so, and then takes until, in this case, 3 to get up to 1. So it goes like that. And there we have our second point. So it goes to these two points. And there we have three, one. Okay, so all log graphs kind of look like that. They're anchored here at one, zero. And then whatever their base is, it takes until their base to get up to one on the y-axis. So the bigger the base is, the more curved over it's going to be. Notice that there is nothing for the negative numbers. Right, there's when I try to plug in a negative number, there's no y value that, that, that it's going to hit because it approaches this y axis asymptotically. So thus, if we try to put a negative value into log, it's not going to know what to do with it because it's not defined for negative values. Right? It's not defined over here. Not defined. Okay, try a few on your calculator. Try taking a log, any log, do natural log or just log base 10 of any negative value, your calculator will give you some kind of error because it just can't happen. Okay, so when we go to solve this, if we get a negative, something negative that goes in here, we'll need to toss out that solution. It'll be an extraneous solution because we can't put negative numbers into logarithmic functions. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward with solving this here. We have log base 3 of x plus, so we're going to use the property of logarithms here to combine these into a single logarithm. So we have log base 3 of x times x minus 8, okay, equals 2. That's the first thing we do. So our plus outside became multiply inside, and that's the property of logarithms. Okay, now we'll convert this into exponential form to solve it. So you start with the base, 3, so 3 around outside to our power, that's our exponent, so 3 to the power of 2, back inside for the equals. 3 to the power of 2 equals all this stuff, x times x minus 8. Okay, great. Now we're done with the logarithm, we just solve what we have left. Let's rewrite this, um, let's, let's clean this up a little bit, how about x squared minus 8x equals 3 squared is 9, when you see x squared in an equation, usually you want to get that equation set equal to zero. This example is no exception. We have the x squared, we have the equal sign. That should, that should set off something in our brains that tells us get a zero on one side of that equality. So let's do that. x squared minus 8x minus 9 equals zero. This trinomial is factorable, thank goodness. We don't need the quadratic formula or anything fancy like that. Okay, so let's see here. I'm thinking minus 9 plus 1. So setting each of those equal to 0 gives us x equals 9, x equals minus 1. Now, back to this domain issue. We just decided that the domain of, of log base 3 of x is, so let's write this out, domain here. The domain is 0 to infinity. Right? That's what we just decided here, meaning only numbers bigger than 0, not even equal to 0, but bigger than 0 can be put into log base 3 of x. This is log base 3 of x. Okay, so going back to our solutions that we found here, this is x equals negative 1. If we tried to put that into this log right here, it would give us a negative inside the log. And same thing here. Clearly, if we put it in here, it's negative 1 minus 8. It would be really negative. So we definitely have to toss out negative 1 for a solution here that is extraneous. Let's take a look at 9. Right? Sometimes both solutions can be extraneous. 
When we plug in 9 up here, well, if we plug it into the first one, this first log, log base 3 of 9, that's okay because it's positive. If we plug it into the second one, it's close, but it's still positive. 9 minus 8 is 1, so that's still going to be positive. This one's okay. You don't have to check them all the way out. You just have to check to make sure they don't force us into a negative inside the logarithm. So there we go. That one has one extraneous solution, x equals negative 1, and one actual solution, x equals 9.